Hello, this is Akim Hamlet. I took 285 by Technology, and in this video, I will be taking the Akim SQL database project that I made in the last video, and now I will be populating with data from another SQL database. Okay, now remember, I am using Microsoft Access 2010. Okay, and so for those using Microsoft Access 2007, it will be slightly different but it will be practically the same procedure okay so bring up the project we go under external data and we select and you can see here there's a there's a group up option from where you want to import where you want to import data from in the import and link tab so you see it's from excel there's some access and what we're going to use is the odbc database these are databases like MySQL Server, Oracle, those kind of stuff. Okay, so we're going to select that. Alright, and as the project has no tables, the source data that we are importing will be important to a new table in the current database. Okay, click OK. Just have to load. Alright, and we select the data source. And since we don't have a data source made right now, we'll just select machine data source. Alright. And as you can see here, there's no MySQL data source name here. So we'll have to create a new one. New. Well, I'm not logging with admin privileges, so I'll be able to make a user data source name. Alright. As you can see here, type of data source, user data source. This will be visible only to me. I can't make a system data source because I'm not logged in as admin for some reason. Okay, click next. Alright, and we select the driver for internet set and we select a driver for which you want to set up a data source. Alright, and we have from access, dbase, excel, paradox. You know, going online. But what we're looking for is SQL Server. Okay. Right, and as you can see here, SQL Server, select SQL Server, click Next, and click Finish. It will create the data source that we have just configured. And the driver may prompt for more information, but we'll find out now. So click Finish. Okay, and this part of the wizard will create the ODBC data source, which I can use to connect to SQL Server. So let's name it SQL source. Describe it as SQL. Which server do we want to connect to? My server name should come up. Ah, all right. Let's select local. Next. Okay. We have the authenticity, the user credentials, and whatnot. I'm using Windows authentication, so let's click on source part of the wizard is used to change the default database and for this one I will use the database called workers okay click next and this is for changing language encryption queries ODBC statistics and whatnot we don't really need to change these things okay and we just click finish it'll give you a summary and you can test the data source, so I can just click OK. I'll just click OK. And it will create the data source. As you can see here, SQL source, SQL, click OK. And we have a new data source. and you'll see the import objects which objects you want to import all right i will just select all all right click ok and it will import everything so now we just wait for it to import everything okay so all of the imp so all of the imports will excuse me 
all of the imports were imported su successfully. So now the option here is if you want to save these import steps, right, and this will allow you to quickly repeat the operation without using the wizard. And I will click for the moment. I will click. It'll, it'll be wise to click yes, but for the moment I'll click no and I'll just close. I'll just leave it unchecked and I'll just close. And as you can see here, all the tables have been imported from the SQL Server to this database. So now Akim SQL has these tables. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.